Okay, Fountain of Youth, here we go. The following year, <laughs> even looking back, I just get even more emotional. It's a little spooky, I don't know why all of a sudden I just felt like something. This is gonna test all the muscles. Today, we're going to explore Copacabana. We're going to stay there for one night and really explore La Isla del Sol, get in contact with my roots. So, we'll see you in a bit. At this point, all passengers are required to exit the bus. And as you guys can see, me and my brother are boarding into this small boat, which is going to transport us right across the strait. And by the way, can we talk about the amazing views over here? We arrived to Hostal Las Olas. And this is the first one right here. This is freaking adorable. I'm like out of breath. We have a second bed here. You have the outstanding view from Lady Titicaca. A cute little lounge here with our seats. Let's go up to the third floor. This is freaking adorable. It is so tiny. And you have a nice relaxing hammock that I would be eager to be here. Just fall asleep and take a nap. The table right here. Chairs. And this is the highest point from where we're staying right now, like our private little house. <laughs> the views are fantastic. I just can't even stress how beautiful today is. Look at the little froggy. We're gonna rub you for good luck and I'm gonna kiss you soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a little like guacamole, you know? Oh my God, that's a baby llama right there. Oh, you're so cute. We are ready to take a nice hike to the Calvary, AKA El Calvario. It takes about like an hour and a half or two, but I'm really giving myself a time because we want to do the sunset around 5.45. I think it's right now around almost 3 o'clock, so this is going to test all the muscles. I know it's going to be worth it. you go through this hole right here smoothly, you're going to have a great year. If you get stuck in there the following year, you're going to die. And if you have a hard time coming out, then you're going to have a tough year. Oh, my brother just went. Yeah! We have the second person trying it. All right. Oh, lale. We made it in one hour. We made a few stops because the altitude was kicking us and I'm really out of shape, but I wanted to push myself. This other side. Oh my god, it just keeps getting better and better. Here I bought a pack of 10 candles and basically they say that you have to make one wish per candle and I'm trying to think of all the wishes that I can make at this moment. We went all the way to the top and we wanted to wait till 6.30 for the sunset but unfortunately the clouds decided to have a different idea, a different plan for us. So we decided to come down. We made the sunset from our hostel. This looks beautiful. Oh no! Good morning. It is day two at Copacabana. We're gonna go to La Isla del Sol. It's a holiday here and there's not a lot of people going or they're close early. So we managed to find a private one. We're leaving tonight to Guyuni. I just told you we're not gonna make it, but it's happening. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. The wind was so, so strong that you couldn't even hear me. Even looking back, I just get even more emotional because it takes me back to feeling so grateful to be there feeling so appreciative for the opportunity to be in Lake Titicaca. 
and just being in such a magical place that it looking up the sky it made me think of my ancestors and my family that are no longer here with me but they are with God looking up from above to take a hike over there let's go okay fountain of views here we go my brother's taking a sip now it's my turn mm -hmm. i'll take a bring a bottle and take it with me which i think i drank it before because i took it thinking it was downstairs It's nice and cold, fresh. Uh, come on. <laughs> I need it after that hike. <laughs> All right, now it's my brother's time. Go ahead, drink it out. Mm. Right? Okay, we're gonna try some quinoa super that we've been dying to try. I got really hot with that little workout, but I need some, some energy again. Mmm. I like the parsley. Yum. My beautiful mamacita went on her way to go all the way up to the uphill for the phantom of youth. Her leg, actually, her ankle's not doing so good, so I'm so proud of her. Wow, mommy. I'm so happy for you. Woo. Okay. We're heading out there. We made it to the hub all the way up here. I just want to go and see what's in there. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. The beautiful, beautiful Tiki Kaka. Es el templo sagrado llamado Pilco Kaina. El Pilco significa donde descansaba el ave inca. It's a little spooky. I don't know why all of a sudden I just felt like something. I just came from a door right next to this. This is insane. This is like a sacred temple. Many years ago, this was actually uh, more than one floor, but the Spaniards came here because they knew there was gold plaques, tablets of gold, something along those lines, but basically got rid of the previous floors to find the gold, and of course, they did. This is like strong, what I'm feeling right now, like when I'm entering here. These are two entrances. This side, it's pretty dark there. This is what I was referring earlier. It's no longer there because there was gold in here. Even these little windows, it is almost as if somebody literally had like a laser cutting thing and just made it perfectly. I'm gonna keep walking and we are gonna go right over there and see what else we can find. So this is the side of the sacred temple. This is insane. I wanted to feel so connected to this temple that I physically needed to put my hands and feel the connection that I was feeling at that moment. The energy that I was feeling in each different room that it was indescribable. I started down here and I came to this room and then I'm here as I was hiking up and here I am. This rock and this right here, the surface, like you can hear it's like a, a metal. It, it looks like a rock, but make the sound here, it's different. Even if I do this, Sacred. <laughs> wow. Mosquita. 
also now to the sacred temple. This was amazing. It's just indescribable. I don't have any words. That's why I like to vlog for my emotions, open my heart a little bit. You guys should definitely come and check it out. I can see myself spending like an entire day just on La Isla del Sol.